welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday the 22nd. I want to say December, but it's August. Woof. Okay, I've been doing some spring cleaning, so I'm really not myself. <laughs> really not myself. Valentine looks most disturbed. I had to explain it to her. This is cleaning, Valentine. This is cleaning. <laughs> Valentine likes to watch. If anyone comes to the house to do any work on anything or the bin men come to take the bins, Valentine is in there watching. She's very curious, whereas Leia will hide. She's like, oh no, this looks like a disturbance. I must get out of the way. Nine of Swords in Reverse has come up four times in the shuffle. I am using Robin Wood, Robin Wood riding through the Glen Tarot. Oof. Let's have a looky see. As the energy turns from Leo into Virgo, of course, tomorrow. That's so weird. Oh my God. As I say that, strength in the reverse comes up, the Leo card, and the sun comes out to absolutely dazzle me. Okay. Well, how strange. assure you okay I'm looking through the pack here's me looking through the pack this pack is both up and down every card on our table is down right, I'm going to give it an extra shuffle before I do the next one I'm going to turn them up and down and all around and whatnot it's a very retrospective reading this can happen when you go from one sign into another Okay, there's only so much I can do. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, there was a song that was like, I suppose you call it R&B. And it used to go back, back, forth and forth. So I suppose it was back, back, forth and forth. And it feels like... Because that's almost back, back, forth and forth is like a square of energy, isn't it? Where you're not actually really going anywhere. This feels like a back pedal to change gear before we move into Virgo. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo season in the Northern Hemisphere, um, coming into harvest time. I remember when the boy was at primary school and we used to have to do the harvest festival assembly <laughs> loads of parents for some reason some kind of weird harvest synchronicity would happen and you would all give the same tin of the same thing and the school would be like what are we going to do you know with 57 tins of rhubarb or whatever it was okay just reminds me of that okay ace of pentacles in the reverse so not time to sow the seeds yet. We have this beautiful new moon in Virgo on the 30th and probably approaching that. Queen of Wands in reverse with strength in reverse. Seeing out the Leo, okay? Seeing out the Leo. When does, let me just look in the old moon diary because this is significant for some reason. Sun enters, it might be that day that it happens. Still got that song in my head. No, it's not that day that it happens. Okay, I'm gonna have to find it now. Oh, I think it's at the end of September. I'm trying to see when Mars and I think Mercury, no, Venus and Mars, yes. Okay, that's interesting. 14th of September, we have this harvest moon, a full moon in Pisces, 
Mercury enters Libra and Venus enters Libra. Okay, for some reason I'm getting that that is kind of significant. I know, it's probably not the kind of astrology that you're looking for, but nevertheless, okay. Just before the new moon in Virgo, let me just look at that. Mercury enters Virgo 29th. That is more significant as well. Okay. Don't ask me why. I've got no idea. Venus enters Virgo to the 21st this week. Now I do. You see, that's my kind of astrology, like blundering around. I'm thinking something's happening with Venus and Mercury and Mars that's got something to do with coming out of Leo. It is. It's entered Virgo. Okay, so Venus entered Virgo on the 21st. Most of you already know this. It's only news to me. Mercury enters Virgo. Okay, what happens with Mars? That might be a bridge too far for me. Jupiter went direct on the 11th. That's nice. Let's leave it there. Otherwise, I'm going to bore you senseless. But you get the point that I'm making, or I hope you do. We're going into Virgo, big style. Lots of planets going into Virgo. The energy will change. It will go from power and force and all that Leonine, sunny, raw kind of um, yang into, I think Virgo, I would probably say, was a yin sign. I have no idea, again, whether that's the case, but it feels like it to me. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse as well. And next to that, the Seven of Swords in reverse and a particularly good rendition of it as well. Look at that. I know, sneaking over a dry stone wall. He'll regret that, you know, those walls, they're not up to much if you try and sneak over them. It could collapse. All in the reverse, this is past hurts, could even be hurts you've experienced with a Leo, but certainly in the Leo season, in that really, really special second half of July that we had, I know, with eclipses and sun moving into Leo and all that stuff, okay, it seems to be pshht, drawing back. Then we have the lovely Nine of Pentacles, that is Venus in Virgo, I think. Isn't that weird? Oh my god, let me just check. In the old smelly book, one of you said that, oh my god, look at it, it's covered in cat hair. That's disgusting. One of you said you had a private reading with this person. And can I just say I was very impressed. Right, I'm going to check it because for some reason I don't believe myself. Yes! How weird is that? I knew that Venus and Virgo was really significant for this reading. That's why I dragged you through me going through that moon diary. No, no, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's quite Virgo in anyway. Venus and Virgo, the Nine of Pentacles. Shoring up your own ranch. Making things right for yourself. Kind of doing a bit of a factory hard reset, I think. And then over here, very nice actually for Virgo season, the Three of Pentacles, before you embark on a new project. I'm really glad we got there. Well, I feel like we got there. Let's have a Brian and Wendy food card. Ho, 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 you came up the other day. If not yesterday. <laughs> okay. Oh, Brian and Wendy Frood. Righty ho. Okay, this is, you know how we had all those cards in reverse and Seven of Swords in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Strength in reverse and it's like, ah, <gasps> sins of the past, the shadow of the past. Definitely something about the past. The Lady of Sorrows. The Lady of Sorrows is a character who wears her sorrow like a badge. She wears it like a cloak. She wears it into her future destiny. 
You probably wouldn't want to sit next to her in the pub on a night out. You know, when you're really wanting a bit of a kind of, you know, I've gone to the pub or I've gone for a coffee and I just want to just want to keep it light, you know, and frothy and cool. And then someone's like, and another thing. And it always happens to me. And you just think, oh, God, <laughs> how did I end up sat next to you? OK, the question. Learn to reframe the question. That's the message I get for that. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Also, Venus in Virgo is very earthy, very fair and very um, service driven. It's not to do with um, what others have done or for us. It's more to do with what we can do for ourselves. Venus in Virgo is the card of the independent person. You know, this person's always featured particularly nice gates in this one in their own garden. It's slightly parrot as a bird of paradise. Always got nice gear on, you know, always got a decent dress. Um, always got nice garden, well tended bushes. And, you know, there's always a load of pentacles for here, they're over the gate. She can make her own money. Keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. Try not to tip backwards because the balance of what's gone down is not great. You know, I get that. And yeah, there's been some shoddy behaviour gone on. But we're looking to the future. OK, we're moving into Virgo season. Venus in Virgo. Mercury and Virgo. This is good. Yoo-hoo! Celebrate good times. Come on. See, that's when we're in the pub and we're having that nice coffee and we've somehow locked that lady of sorrows in the toilet <laughs> and broken off the handle. And you're like, yeah, come on. <laughs> Celebrate or celebration. OK, when is the next one? Next full moon, Pisces, I think, on the 14th. OK, but I don't think it even matters. It's just, I don't know, it looks like she's throwing a ball. It looks like a bit of a woohoo. OK, I like it. We're moving from kind of backwards into a new gear, the gear of woohoo, the gear of a new project. OK. I like it. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you like it and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.